Welcome today to the UCD Agriculture, Food Science and Human Nutrition Careers Fair 2023. Today is promised to be a great day with numerous opportunities to speak with companies that are at the forefront of the industry. It's, uh, it's great to be here. Agriculture, uh, Food Science and Human Nutrition Careers Day. It's a real model as to how you actually should do a careers day. I know it's wonderful for all of the companies actually who come here and it's of course great for the students to actually be able to showcase and meet face to face and discuss potential career opportunities for themselves as well. It's a really, really exciting sector. It's a sector that's changing and evolving all the time, but changing and evolving in a good way. And there's massive opportunities across so many aspects of agriculture, uh, food and human nutrition now in the years ahead. So today's event wouldn't have happened without the efforts of, of AgSOC, uh, the Agricultural Science Society. So it's one of the biggest societies in UCD and I would say the most active and unique in that they themselves put on their own Ag Careers Day. We all know there, there are huge challenges facing the agri-food sector uh, at the moment, um, meeting climate targets, producing food more efficiently for a growing world population. And so our graduates you know, have to be positioned to be able to meet those needs and address those challenges. And I, I'm fully confident that they are leaving us very well equipped with the, the technical knowledge and expertise and transferable skills needed to, to work in a very um, vibrant sector. We're delighted to be here today and meet all the wonderful students. Yeah, we're here today to attract graduates. Um, the uh, graduates into our graduate programme. So our graduate programme kicks off in September 2023. It's a two-year rotational graduate programme. Um, so there'll be lots of opportunities to rotate around the business, both north and south, with also an opportunity for an international assignment. Look, as, as a past graduate from UCD and the chairman of the Careers Committee, I think it's great to have an organisation like this. A, a day like this allows the four-year graduates to come around and meet such a wide variety of, of opportunities. And I think the students, from even when I was here, I think the, the knowledge base that they have and, the, and the, the interest that they have in all of the areas is massive. Great, I was here last year and it's great to be back again. The students are really interested in talking to people in the industry and I think it gives them a great professional outlook as well to come in dressed up in their suits and their professional, professional um, gear and just talk to industry members about the opportunities out there. This is our 30th year attending the event and one thing that's very obvious from today is that we've got some very ambitious and talented people coming through the doors and we've noticed in the years gone by that we've had some really good innovators and pioneers come through the door here that have gone on to do really, really good things in the agri-food industry. So that's something New CD can be very, very proud of and it's something that FRS is always glad to support. Oh, it's been brilliant now, it's been really great to get out and meet the students at UCD. Uh, I went to UCD myself and I was actually at the Careers Day in 2018 that I met Agriland and got my job myself. And uh, I know how daunting it can be as a student coming to the Careers Day, but I think that uh, getting out and meeting with some of the employers, it's really it's a, a great opportunity for students. And uh, I suppose as a company, Agriland, we've been very impressed. We've had a lot of inquiries for stu from students and we have a lot of students who are interested in maybe applying to jobs and finding out more. It's been a brilliant day. I want to say thank you to everyone that came, all the companies, all the students here, and especially Eilish and her Ag Soc uh, Careers Committee. Um, it's been a tremendous day, and I think it's been nothing but good reports, so can't complain. It's been unbelievable. Um, I think after coming out of COVID, I think people you know, don't really know how to socialise or maybe get out there and kind of get their name out there. So it's been really important to kind of shake the hands of the companies and maybe not get your CV out there, but kind of say your name and get the email, get the contact in there. Yeah, it's amazing that AgSoc has been 100 years. I know um, Frank Monaghan mentioned it earlier on that even the faculty of Ag isn't even 100 years yet. So um, that's amazing. It was something I didn't realise. So being the auditor for the 100th year of AgSoc is something that I'm going to bring with me for the rest of my life.
Definitely today is the highlight we've had so far in the year. Last week was Ag Week, so to have their Ag Week and Careers Week on top of each other was a bit intense, but it's definitely been well worth it. We've had a great turnout today, and it was great to see everyone dolled up. It's not often we get to see everyone in their clean clothes <laughs> and not county colours. Um, the day really stands to the whole essence of Ag Sock, and especially with Ag Sock hitting its 100th year, I think it's just a really nice day to commemorate that this is all built on teamwork. This is all built on the students. This is for the students, by the students. We have got great help from the school. Um, but at the end of the day, it's run and by for the students. I'd like to say a special thank you to our keynote speakers of the day. So we've had Minister McConnell, Aoife Feeney, Eve Bambrick on behalf of the ASA as Vice President, and she presented the awards. And congratulations to all the students that won the ASA uh, awards. It's no small feat and it looks fantastic for you and fair play to all of you. And a special thank you to Kira Byers for giving our hand out today as our auditor. And of course to our Dean, Frank Monaghan, who's been a huge help today and given a lovely speech as well.